These beautiful flowers are not visible to them. So is the beauty of this ocean, or the fun of contemporary shopping malls, and millions of such fantastic sites that provide mankind entertainment and a means of communication. We call them the blind, the partially sighted, ignored by the rest of mankind. True Vision As part of corporate social responsibility activities, the Electronics Corporation of Tamil Nadu Limited, Elkhart, a government of Tamil Nadu undertaking, has embarked on a visionary course of providing the thousands of visually handicapped population in the state an opportunity to learn and use computers for everyday tasks using open source technology. The project was kick-started with a bang with the help of an internationally known, totally visually impaired computer expert, Mr. Krishnakant Mani, on the 22nd day of October 2007. I am uh, Krishnakant Mani from uh, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. <laughs> Basically, my work is uh, into uh, helping people migrate to free software from the proprietary software. How do you compare open source and proprietary software? Free software in some aspects has even gone past the quality of uh, proprietary software. They are not just equal now, the open source ones are above them. There was a constant uh, uncomfortableness with the proprietary systems wherein I always used to find every now and then that a certain application is not compatible with the, with the proprietary one. They would tell you, okay, fine, uh, you can wait for the next version. When I have bought that software, let's say for X amount. So again, you pay some more X amount and we will get it specially done for you. Okay, they don't stop there. They would say, we will do it for you, but we, we will not give you the authority of that. Can you work on the internet? Yeah, I can, I can work on spreadsheets, I can work on word processors, I can read my emails, I can surf the net, I can chat, I can listen to music, I can do programming. And uh, there is something which proprietary softwares don't allow for a blind person is that I can even install uh, the entire operating system without any sighted assistance. Is it that a blind person cannot install a proprietary OS? You can't install the OS and uh, when asked about this, uh, the stupid answers which they give is that it's, uh, we could have made it possible, it's very risk, but it's very risky for a, a company to give it in the hands of the visually handicapped people to do the installation. Little do they know that the visually impaired person have got better concentration when they work. Can you handle server administration? Yeah, in fact, server administration has been uh, happening since quite long as far as the visually impaired people are concerned. What inspired you into IT? I was in a sighted school. I was not put to any blind school because they, at that time my parents had foresighted that if I am put to a same school where my elder sister goes, I will be given a, 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 a similar treatment. I won't be treated differently. When I was just 12, they sent me to US all alone. Over there, when I went, I saw a rudimentary ta ta talking machine. Computer is nothing but there is a, an artificial uh, 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 electronic brain which needs nothing but sequentially ar arrange electrical impulses which convey your logic, which represent your ideas on that particular and on that particular chip which would help you to e get exactly get the result which you want. So if that is the case, then you don't need eyes. Krishnakant Mani stepped into the demonstration mode showcasing the abilities of Orca, run on the Ubuntu distribution of Linux, the popular open source operating system. Orca is a free open source, flexible, extensible and powerful assistive technology for people with visual impairments. Using various combinations of speech synthesis, Orca helps provide access to applications and toolkits, permitting visually impaired people to use computers with stunning ease. I. I. Krishna Kolan. I am I. The ease with which Krishnakant used the computer, far better than normally sighted experienced computer users, left onlookers stunned. Not just performing daily applications like document preparation, email, and internet browsing, the ease with which visually impaired people can actively participate in mainstream software development was also clearly demonstrated. Main left Alan. Motivated and turbocharged, the entire team of Elcott, headed by its managing director, swung into action the very next day by showcasing the technology to a large group of visually impaired students. Remember, 
remember me on this computer checkbox not checked. It says remember me on this computer checkbox not checked. If we type the letter T in Windows, yeah. the computer will say it as T. There are some instances when we commit some mistakes. Okay. So here in uh, Linux, that is the, in in your software, yeah. when you type T H I S, it is saying that as this. So okay. if we commit any mistakes, how can we correct it, sir? In fact, what I'll tell you, I'll give you a small gift. I'll give you a CD because this question I keep on wondering who will ask me one day, and I think you're the first person who will ask me. Because this doesn't happen in uh, the regular screen readers. Now I will make a mistake, okay? Yes, sir. This. Okay, I have written this. T H I S. So what happens in uh, other screen readers in Windows is that, like suppose for example, Eyes. Okay, T H I E. I said T H I E, not not T H I S. Okay? Yes, sir. Now what would have happened if you had used JAWS or something? You remove the E and put the S. But what happens in Windows, it will only say S, right? When you yes, replace sir. it. Yes, sir. Size. Now, I will re replace the E with the right one, S, okay? Yes, sir. And let's see whether it will say S or it will say this, huh? Yes, sir. E. Okay, I have removed E, I am putting S. Yes. See, it did not just say S. So, actually, this is one very nice observation and I, I like to tell this to people, but people have never observed the way you have observed. So, it was very nice of you. Thank you, sir. Blind all along, games when they will add a mudi ma computer la. She has yeah. a question whether we can play games on the computer. Oh, wonderful. Uh, it seems all sort of good questions are coming. Uh, there is an uh, item called games. Games menu. Okay, there's this games menu. The Sudoku. Okay, there's thing called chess. The dream on their faces was unmistakable. Their joy knew no bounds. They were now developing visions of their own. Elcott had taken up a huge responsibility for a noble cause, adapting a community to one of nature's mistakes. Elcott was entrusted with the task of evaluating and purchasing one copy of a proprietary software to enable the blind to use computers. Well known for its pioneering efforts and promotion of IT and ITES activities in the state, it embarked on a research of the best tool for the same. That's why we have a license in the same way. We have a license for 22. We have a license for 22 computers and we have a license for 22 computers. With the Pandora's box of proprietary softwares being firmly sealed, it is raw happiness all around. Linux is free to use and it comes packaged with all softwares for everyday use. Orca is also free. Local support is being made available by Elcott, apart from the support already available from the huge open source community worldwide. Translation to regional languages, especially Tamil, is being worked on. All that remains is the cost of the hardware which may also be heavily subsidized by a dedicated government initiative. Elkot Nirvanam India Vileye Mudal Murayaha Kan Parve Torke Urisrepana Menpurul Tandulade Idur Pudia Muerchi Varever Kataka Muerchi Enanil In the Arase Inivarum Galangalil Matrithiran would ever lay, Tanambike would ever lay, Vele wipe petrukul burlaha, irkavenum in Badadan, in the Kalagarasin, Nokum Adanal, Kandipahe, Idirgalatil, in the Menpurl Vailahe, Matrithiran Udeorin, Walkayum, Verum in Badil, Yellalavum, Sandega Mille. The day is not far off when we will have teams of visually impaired people handling computer-based tasks, which may include system administration, software development, desktop publishing, BPO, and a variety of clerical jobs, thanks to Elcott and the Department of Rehabilitation, Government of Tamil Nadu. A revolutionary revelation, perhaps. It was we, the normally sighted people, who had been blind throughout to the wonders of open-source technologies on the Linux platform.